Hello students and uh, namaste everyone. I am Dawal sir and our today's topic is from your standard 8th chapter number 3 okay part 4. So already we have completed 3 part right explanation of the chapter in 3 parts and this is going to be our last part okay or last lecture for this chapter and the name of the chapter is nationalism in India okay. So uh, we had completed till here that is the establishment of Muslim League and we will continue from the next para that is Home Rule Movement 1916 ok so uh, between 1916 and 1918 when the World War 1 was closing ok it was nearby its uh, coming to an end Prominent leaders like Joseph Baptista, Muhammad Ali Jina, Bal Gangadhar Tilak, G. S. Khapre, Sir S. Subramanya Ayer, and the leader of the Theosophical Society, Annie Besant, decided to organize a national alliance of leagues across India. So, what is given? Decided to organize a national alliance. Alliance means group, okay. Alliance of leagues across India specifically to demand home rule. That means they uh, decided that uh, they will get together all the small, small group or alliances of India together and with the power that is when all the people of India will get together, they will become more powerful and then they will demand home rule, okay, or self government within the British Empire for all in India. So understood that means they decided that they will demand self rule that means the people of India themselves they will rule India. Okay. The Britishers have to give power to the Indians to take the decisions. Okay. Further during this time Tilak was conferred with the title Lokmanya. Conferred means he was entitled or given the title Lokmanya ok and any Besant wrote various articles in the weekly uh, so weekly means the newspaper or the magazine which is uh, given ok the name was the Commonweal name of the article is Commonweal and in the daily it was New India ok so these are the articles by any Besant any Besant appealed to the British government to share administrative powers and grant the home rule to the India at the <laughs> earliest. Right, so that I have already told. Okay. So, through the home rule or self rule, the people of India, uh, they wanted to uh, demand from the Britishers the power to administer their own country, to rule their own country. Okay. Indian National Congress and the Muslim League supported the Home Rule Movement. Right. So, these were the big parties that is National Congress, Indian National Congress and Muslim League. So, they were also in support of Home Rule Movement. Any Besant was kept in a house arrest. Now, house arrest means a person is uh, kept uh, inside the house and from all the sides, right, there is a security so that the person cannot go out and uh, another thing what happens in the house arrest is that the person who is inside the house uh, cannot contact or cannot come in contact with any other people ok so that is house arrest so any patient was kept in a house arrest at uh, Uttaka, uh, Uttaka Mandalam Uttaka Mandalam is Uti by the British government demonstrations and protests were launched at various places in India and finally the British government had to set her free that means as she was kept uh, under house arrest okay as she was kept in house arrest the people they protested against this decision of the British government and the Britishers had finally uh, finally the Britishers had to free her okay fine so further next is Lucknow Pact Lucknow Pact Pact means an agreement Okay, so Lucknow Pact refers to an agreement between the Indian National Congress and the Muslim League 
at the joint session of both the parties held in Lucknow in the year 1916, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, then a member of the Congress as well as the League. Okay, he was also the member of Indian National Congress and then later on he became the member of Muslim League. Okay, made both the parties reach an agreement to pressurize the British government to adopt a more liberal approach more liberal approach towards India and give Indians more authority to run their country. Okay, so as the people of India they had become more knowledgeable, more uh, uh, they had more knowledge and experience of the other countries. That means they had seen, they had read about the different countries, how they got freedom from such a kind of situation. Okay, so now the people of India they also wanted freedom from the Britishers. So they were continuously making efforts to make India free from the British rule. Okay. So both this party uh, got together in an agreement uh, which pressurized the Britishers to make India a free country. Okay. And to give the Indian powers, uh, Indian people more power to run their own nation. So the Lucknow Pact also established cordial relations between the two prominent group of India uh, of the India that is the Indian National Congress okay and in that there were the moderates and the extremists so these were the two different groups of Indian National Congress so even they also got together cordial relation means friendly relationship okay next is Subhash Chandra Bose and Azad Hind Forge so Subhash Chandra Bose was born on 23rd January 1897 in Katak Orissa his mother's name of uh, mother's name was uh, Prabhavati and his father's name was uh, Janki Nath Bose. Okay, he was a very intelligent su uh, student since his childhood, and he stood for, uh, fourth in the ICS examination in the year 1920 conducted in London. So from this we can understood how brilliant he was. And he joined the Indian National Congress after returning to India and participated in the freedom struggle. Okay. So, uh, that was about Subhash Chandra Bose. Okay. Then, he was arrested for 11 times under the political offense. Okay. Political offense means uh, for working, the, uh, means working with the party he got arrested. He became the president of the Haripura session of Congress in 1938 century and the second time in the Tripura session held in 1939. Okay. Difference of opinion. Difference of opinion means the thought of Subhash Chandra Bose and the party were different. They both had different thoughts. Okay. So difference of opinion forced him to resign from the post of the president of Indian National Congress. Right. So, uh, Subhash Chandra Bose uh, had given the ICS. ICS means Indian Civil Service Examination, right? Which was uh, conducted in Britain, that is England. Okay. So, it was actually started in 1855, and uh, no Indian could clear that exam. But in 1920, Subhash Chandra Bose stood forth, right? So, the Britishers also they were shocked. Uh, when he uh, they saw the Indian standing at the fourth position, right? So ICS, that is Indian Civil Service uh, examination. Uh, so I'll give you the example of that. Uh, right now we are having the IAS exam, right? And if you clear that exam, you can become the collector. So it is the example of civil service, okay? So in that exam, Subhash Chandra Bose had stood fourth. In May 1939, Subhash Chandra Bose formed a new political party and its name was Forward Bloc. When the Second World War broke out in Europe, Forward Bloc launched an anti-war propaganda. As a result, Subhash Chandra and his followers were arrested and imp imprisoned by the government. Right? That means anti-war propaganda means the Britishers, they were forcibly taking the Indians uh, to the European countries to fight the war and uh, many Indians they had even lost their life during the world war 
so as subhash chandra bose uh, had started anti war propaganda that means they will not join the britishers in the war so uh, he was against the britishers and therefore he was arrested okay and put behind the bars bars means the jail okay so while in jail subhash chandra bose went on a hunger strike hunger strike means not to eat anything okay and that deteriorated his health deteriorated his health means his health become uh, became worst and the government was forced to set him free however he was kept under house arrest right so meaning of house arrest i have already explained you okay in the paragraph of any besant that is home rule movement then further on 17th january 1941 subhash chandra bose escaped from the house arrest okay and he disguised himself as a pathan disguise means to uh, hide your uh, real or original personality and change your look okay so he disguised himself as a pathan and reached berlin via peshawar kabul and moscow and he gave a speech on berlin radio which shocked the britishers right the britishers they were shocked to uh, hear the speech of subhash chandra bose so from there he went to japan via sumatra okay so this is how uh, subhash chandra bose reached japan things to know germany and japan were fighting against england and subhash chandra bose Uh, took the advantage of this and started communicating with the german leader hitler and japan's prime minister tojo okay and being an asian country japan was in a better position to help india okay so subhash chandra bose decided to start the uh, start the fight for freedom with the help of japan okay further as the chief of azad hind fauj that is indian national army an indian soldier from the british army captain mohan singh formed azad hind fauj captain mohan singh and with the help of indian soldiers who had surrendered to japan as war prisoners right so the britishers they were taking the indians to fight in the world war okay and as japan was against britishers but when the indians uh they went to attack japan from the side of britishers they were arrested okay so what it is given that is due to the uh, means when the soldiers they had surrendered to japan as a war prisoners and due to the opinions of a uh, difference of opinions between japanese government and ras bihari bose mohan singh had to resign and the future of azad hind fauj became blurred blurred means not clear okay and with a general consent ras bihari bose appointed subhash chandra bose as the chief of azad hind fauj on 4th july 1943 okay and he was given the honorary title of netaji so netaji gave the slogan chalo delhi and jai hind to the fauj and the nation and he toured the countries of southeast asia and appealed to the indians living there right many indians they were living in foreign countries so he appealed them okay to sacrifice everything for the freedom of the country that is for the freedom of india he said to the people you give me blood and i will give you freedom so this were the most inspirational lines at that time and this slogan gave a new uh, impetus to the freedom struggle right so uh the people they got very much energy right impetus means momentum or energy so the people they were very much motivated or inspired okay and they joined the freedom struggle next is provisional government subhash chandra bose established urzi hukumat e azad hind that is acting government of free india in singapore in october 1943 and he took charge as the chief of the army this government declared a war against england and america okay so he had developed a government okay for uh, freeing the india right next is role of azad hind fauj 
सो आजाद हिंद फौज वॉज रेकग्नाइ री ऑर्गेनाइज बाय सुभाष चंद्र बोस आफ्टर ही बिकेम द चीफ ऑफ अर्जी हुकूमत ए हिंद प्रॉपर ट्रेनिंग वॉज गिवन टू द सोल्जर्स एंड द आजाद हिंद फौज वॉज डिवाइडेड इन टू वेरियस बटालियंस बटालियंस मीन्स ग्रुप्स ओके फर्दर आजाद हिंद फौज वॉज डिवाइडेड इन टू फोर मेन बटालियंस बाय सुभाष चंद्र बोस एंड वॉज नेम्ड एज गांधी सुभाष नेहरू एंड आजाद रिस्पेक्टिवली अ स्पेशल एंड अ सेपरेट बटालियन नेम्ड झांसी की रानी कंस्टिट्यूटेड ओनली ऑफ फीमेल्स एंड वॉज लेड बाय कैप्टन लक्ष्मी सहगल ओके फर्दर आजाद हिंद फौज सिक्योर्ड विक्ट्री एट वेरियस फ्रंट्स इन द ईस्टर्न बॉर्डर ऑफ इंडिया लाइक आरकन एंड इम्फाल लेटर ऑन आरकन एंड इम्फाल इज द नेम ऑफ द प्लेस लेटर ऑन द फौज वॉज फोर्स्ड टू रिट्रीट रिट्रीट मीन्स टू कम बैक ओके ड्यू टू द शॉर्टेज ऑफ फूड सप्लाई एंड हैवी रेन अमेरिका ड्रॉप द न्यूक्लियर बॉम्ब ऑन झापान एंड झापान सरेंडर्ड राइट सो दिस वॉज द टर्निंग पॉइंट द डायनामिक्स ऑफ द वॉर चेंज एंड द फ्यूचर ऑफ आजाद हिंद फौज बिकम हेजी वाई इट बिकेम हेजी हेजी मीन्स अनक्लियर राइट बिकॉज आजाद हिंद फौज वॉज फाइटिंग विद द हेल्प और सपोर्ट ऑफ द झापान बट एज झापान वॉज ऑल्सो डिस्ट्रॉयड वेरी बैडली इट हैज सरेंडर्ड ओके ड्यू टू देट देर वॉज नो वन टू सपोर्ट आजाद हिंद फौज एंड फोर थाउजेंड सोल्जर्स डाइड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड सोल्जर्स वर अरेस्टेड एंड नेताजी हेड टेकन अ वो वो मीन्स ही हेड प्रोमिस्ड हिमसेल्फ that he will not enter in the subjugated india right so subjugated means uh, the india which was not free subjugated means under control okay so subjugated india means the india which was under the control of britishers okay he will never enter uh, that india uh, which is under the control of britishers and netaji left rangoon and bangkok and moved ahead by air and as per the reports published by the japanese government his plane that took off from taipei airport of formosa on 18th august 1945 crashed and netaji being seriously burned succumbed to death right so succumbed to death means uh, got hold of or caught death or he met to death right so here uh, our chapter gets over and i'll also end my explanation of uh, this chapter over here and i thank you everyone for watching my video